three ways to get filthy rich in 2018. That is what we are discussing here today, guys. I am gonna give you three ways on how you can get filthy rich in 2018. Now, this is gonna be extremely hard. To go from nothing or very little money to become rich in a year, okay, is a very hard thing to do, but I'm gonna give you your three best bets on what you can do to actually try to achieve that. Now, first off, like I find it almost comical that sometimes I hear people say like, Oh, I'm okay. I don't want to be rich and things like that. Like that just doesn't process to me. That almost is like saying, Oh, I just want okay. Um, I just want okay health. I just want okay health. Like, you know, uh, I don't want great health. I just want my health to be okay. You know, I just want to be all right. And who would say that ever? No one would ever say that. You want to have great health. You want to, you know, live to be as long as you as, as possible. And you want to have your bones be great and all that stuff. It's like saying, uh, I just want my friends and family, you know, I just want okay friends and family, huh? That doesn't make any sense. Who would want just okay friends and family? You want to have great fams, uh, friends and family. Like you want them to be great around you. And then after that, like if after you got good health, right? And after you, you got good friends and family, what's next out there for you? You want to be rich, right? You would want to be rich. You want to be able to do all the things that you want to do in life. If you want to go take a trip tomorrow, it would be awesome to just take the private jet and go somewhere and do something. If you want to go, you know, on your jet skis on the lake or something like that would be awesome, right? So after you have your health, okay, after you have friends and family, the next best thing in life really after that is really being rich, right? There's really nothing else as far as actually being on this planet, right? So I'm here to uh, share this with you guys today. I hope you enjoy. So the first one, the first one really has to do with starting a business, but there's a catch to this because it's not just starting any business, okay? You're not just gonna start a yogurt shop and become rich in a year, okay? That's pretty unrealistic. So I'm gonna give you the game plan for this first one on how you could actually accomplish this, okay? So starting a business, we'll say SB, starting a business. So what you need to do is you need to start a business that is scalable, okay? You need to start a business that is scalable this year. That is a very key, a scalable business, something that you can build in a very quick amount of time that it, you know doesn't need a massive amount of funding. Maybe you need to raise some money for this or something. So some things that would come to mind that are scalable are something like an app, okay? Every single year, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of apps that are created for the Android store or for the Apple, uh, uh, what is it called, App Store or whatever. Every single year, hundreds of apps, if not thousands, become multi-million dollar apps. Some of them even become billion dollar apps, okay? That's something that's a scalable thing. You, you do all the code for it, or you have somebody do all the code for it, you just have that game plan, and it's scalable, okay? It's scalable in a very quick amount of time, okay? A successful website would also be under this category. Something that is very scalable in a quick amount of time, online-related things are much easier to do this, okay? Online-related things are much easier to do this guys like i said if you're trying to start a yoga shop or something it's gonna be really hard because you need to like build customers over a certain amount of time like it's very unrealistic however when you're doing things in the online landscape websites apps things like that it's very scalable in a quick amount of time okay Another huge thing with starting a business and making it scalable is using social media properly. So let's say you're starting a clothing line, okay? Let's say you're starting an underwear line for men and women, all right? So if you, you know how to use social media properly, you can actually make this very scalable in a quick amount of time. How would you do something like this, okay? What you'd wanna do is you'd wanna find popular Instagram influencers, okay? Popular Instagram influencers, message them, see what their rates are if the, you want to, you know, have them do an ad or like a little video clip or picture in your underwear. You know, there's tons of Instagram models, girls and guys out there. You could get them to wear your un your underwear, have all that branding in there, have the link in their bio to that. That's so underpriced at the moment, guys. There's like, you know, some people are just charging like a thousand dollars and they have hundreds of thousands of followers. Some people are charging, you know, a few thousand dollars and they got a million out there. This is something you could scale in a quick amount of time. And what you do, you you contact an Instagram influencer, you bankroll that money, you the profits you make off them into the next one, into the next one until you got such a, a big amount built out there that you actually have multiple.
multiple going at a time. So you actually have three or four advertising campaigns going on social media with Instagram influencers, maybe some Snapchat ones, maybe which is a little harder to contact, but there definitely are some out there. Maybe you do some Facebook ones and things like that, guys. Like you could scale through social media in a very quick amount of time as long as you're taking those profits and reinvesting it into the next person and next person and you just keep building off of that virality. So those are the type of businesses you wanna focus on if you're trying to become rich in a year, okay? It needs to be something that can scale quick, that the message can spread really quick about this, that a lot of people can share back and forth with each other, and it builds and it builds and it builds, okay? So that's the first way you could become uh, filthy rich in 2018. The second way, I would say, is you need to focus more on passive income and less on active income, okay? So you need to focus more on passive income and less on active income related things, okay? So as you come up in the world and as you're told things and whatnot, you think like the only way to make money in the world is active income. Like you're there doing something and that's how you make money, okay? I'm at the, the Amazon factory and I'm like filling these packages and whatnot and putting these things in the crate and that's how I gotta make money. Or, or you know, I'm cleaning this pool over here or or I'm cleaning this house for this customer and that's my business or, or uh, you know, I'm doing this, I'm cleaning somebody's car, like, like I'm giving up my time and I'm doing something for somebody else, okay? Or you're working at Walmart or whatever it is, you're working at a restaurant, okay? That's active income stuff. You gotta start focusing more on passive income. Since I made a change in my life and I started to focus more on passive income, it's been less than a year and a half since I started really focusing on passive income over active income, okay? Active income would be my real estate marketing business, which I still operate and I still have quite a few customers in that business, but that's been in the back burner for nearly a year and a half for me because I realized that's active income and I wanna focus on passive income, okay? Passive income meaning you create something of some kind, okay, there's a million different things out there, okay, look, look up passive income, Google it, like Google passive income ideas, there's a billion different ideas out there, but basically when you create something in the past, and that can bring you money into the future, okay, and the great thing about passive income type things is once you build one, then you're done with that, right? So you can go build another at this point in time. Now this one brings you money in, okay? And now that one's done, so now you got two bringing you in money. Now you can go create another one, and this one can start bringing you in money. So you just keep creating bubbles because well, all these things, once you get them done, they, they need very little time into them anymore. That's why they're passive income. You need to spend very little time, if no time in these, in the future, and they just keep making you money and keep making you money, and you go from the next one to the next one. It's one of the most challenging things um, in, in, in the world, in my opinion, as far as switching your mind from an active income type philosophy to a passive income and kind of really understanding the switches and starting to think about the world as far as you making money out there is Am I doing something right now that's an active income or am I doing something right now that's a passive income that this thing I'm doing right now is actually gonna bring you really a lot of money into the future, okay? That's a big switch that you gotta do, guys. And I tell you, in a year and a half, less than a year and a half since I made this switch in my mind, it's been dramatic the way my earnings have gone up, guys. And there's a billion different ways. You don't have to do anything related like I do passive income-wise. You can do your own thing and it just is a mind changer, guys, and it's a game changer for you. So that's definitely a way, but obviously you're gonna to need to make all your bubbles very quick, and you're also gonna to need to make those bubbles very successful if you're gonna become rich in a year, all right? And the last one, number three, is if you have a successful track record of investing in something, then you have the potential to raise money from people who are looking to invest in something, okay? Now, when you are basically, why you wanna do this, right? When you funnel money together, let's say you raise $10 million or $100 million or whatever to go out there and invest, okay? If you can just get a, you know, a few percent of whatever the gains are, right? Let's say you, you take, let's say you take 5% of the profits or maybe you take 10% of the profits, some hedge fund man 
managers take 20% of the profits. That's a phenomenal way to make a ridiculous amount of money when you build up capital. Think about if you have 10, just $10 million raised, what's in, in the grand scheme of things, like $10 million fund is like nothing. Like most funds are in the billions and billions of dollars. A $10 million fund is very small, okay? So you got a $10 million fund and you get that fund, you know, let's say a 10% gain a year, which is not killing it, okay? It's a million dollars, right? You get 20% of the profits on that. That's $200,000 in itself, guys. I mean, and then imagine if you got a 20% return. Um, you know what I mean? You can, you can really compound the numbers. Imagine if you raise more money than that. So what you need to have, you need to have a successful track record as far as investing in something, okay? Cryptos is a big one right now. Like I see a lot of opportunity for a lot of you guys that have been investing for in crypto for several years to raise money from people that maybe would do it themselves, but you think you can do it better than them, okay? And you got a track record there. And what you need to do is basically you need to make sure you're you're getting all the federal guidelines and whatnot. If you wanna be like a mutual fund manager, hedge fund manager, someone like that, that actually uh, raises money in the stock market land, you need to have like a series 67 license and some, and some other kind of license you need to have to actually be able to raise money. It's a very serious thing. When you actually raise money from some Someone and they give you money to invest, okay? It's a very serious thing, so you definitely wanna make sure you have all the licenses and registrations with the government, because it's a very serious crime if you actually are raising money from people and you actually don't have those licenses and whatnot, guys, it's a huge thing. But it's a phenomenal way for some of you guys that have been making money for a long time, you have a long track record built up of being very successful, outperforming whatever market you're in, okay? And you maybe have a little skill as far as being able to sell out there is a lot of people who would love to just have their money managed like the amount of people on this channel that actually like to manage their money is very small and when you look at the entire landscape out there and how many people for every one person that actually wants to manage their own money there's at least 10 people out there that want someone else to do it for them they don't care about investing their own money they don't care about any of that they'd rather just have someone else do it and pay them a fee guys and those are the three best ways in my opinion are the most realistic if there is such thing as a realistic way of getting rich in 2018. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this. I hope you enjoyed. Hit a thumbs up if you did. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.